Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. Welcome to, to section 6 of the course where we are developing a web based application using Visual Studio 2022 targeting .NET Framework 6.0. Now, this is a section 6, and in for a quick re recap, we have covered the basics and uh, theoretical section and walkthrough of the application section 1. In section 2, we created the project, we explained the project structure. We also explained how the controller and view works. In section 3, we created a basic expense module and we created the function to add, update and delete a record. In section 4, we covered another module called the expense category. We also created a foreign key relationship between the expense and the expense category. We showed you how to create a drop down populate values from the expense category and how do you tag every expenses with an expense category. So that was the section 4. In section 5, we added security to our web application. Obviously, since we are storing all our expense details, so it has to be private. So we created a login page to authenticate the user and we also created a registration page to add user to our application. Now, this is the last section of that is a section 6 where we have we are deploying the entire solution in our local IIS server. So without wasting much time, let's deep dive into the sections. So section six, here we go. So we click on our project. Now this is a project which is on Visual Studio 2022 and .NET Framework 6.0. So once we just run this application, So this is our landing page, this is the login page. So we log in with our user John .com and John. We click on login and we are able to see it will redirect authenticate user redirect to our dashboard where we are able to access our expenses, add new expense and update new expense uh, update the expense details change the category and save the record and delete the record so when you create it prompts you when you click on delete delete the record then we also have expense category where we have given the functionality to add new expense category to our module so now let's host this application in our local IIS server so what are the steps right click on the project Click on publish. Okay, click on folder. Click on next. Here you browse and set where do you want to store your published folder. So I click on D drive and I say expense published. Okay. Click on OK. So this is a part. Click on Finish. So once this is done, this is a template which is created. If you want to make some changes, you can click on the Edit and make some changes like Release. It's a release mode. Then Target 6.0 Framework and Portable. So we can select since it is uh, Windows processing 64 bit. I'll select 64 bit. Now this picks up the default connection string from app.json setting and this is an option where you want to before publishing uh, every time delete all the existing files click on this and then publish this is the setting we click on save and now if you go to this folder there won't be any files till i click on publish so we say expense expense publish now this folder is empty you right click and say publish so you can see the output window over here it's publishing
and if it parallelly go and see it it's it's you can see all the printers over here ready so it's published if you go to this folder it's published all the files and when you come over it's published succeeded there's no error this was the first step now let's go to our local iis server so click on run the iis internet information service now this is my iis i click on left click on sites i click on site say add website and i say expense management mg and click on physical path and this will be our d drive and expense publish this is a folder where we have published our files and change the port if the port is not available i have already hosted some sites on port 80 so i am selecting 81 and then i click on and tick this start website immediately and your website is up and running now before that before the setting also go ahead and right click and say add application pool and i say e x e management this is my pool name and click on this e management this is my pool click on advanced setting and in my case identity i am selecting as local system okay and click on ok so just right click and say recycle not recycle just reset right click and say recycle so since i made those changes go to your website experience management click on advanced setting and make sure that application pool is the one which you created e-management click on save so this is it our site is ready now click on your website restart it once okay and then click on browse port 81 here we go our site is deployed on is let's go ahead and type john at the rate yahoo.com password as john and click on submit you'll be able to see the exactly same output which you will be able to see and you're able to see all the records and you're able to add new records and this we are accessing from our iis server click on save and it gets saved and this is the express category so guys i hope you really like this course this was a very short course having divided into six sections this course is for absolute beginners beginners and even the advanced uh, developers there are a lot of small small concepts which is covered which can be used in your learnings in your job place and i wish you all the best and thank you for visiting this course section thank you for your time and please do like all my videos please do like this videos please do subscribe and share the channel with all your friends and tech buddies and thank you very much for visiting my channel. See you soon.